Have you found it difficult telling apart a husky from an Alaskan Malamute? Or you called your neighbor's Belgian Malinois a German Shepherd? Well, you're not alone. And that's why in this video, we'll be looking closely at 10 identical pairs of dog breeds and how to tell which is which. While every dog breed is unique, there are some that have very similar appearances, making it extra tricky to identify each breed correctly. Number 1. Alaskan Malamute and Siberian Husky The Alaskan Malamute has a striking resemblance with the Husky. These two share a long list of similar features, which might take you extra effort to distinguish. Although originating from different regions, they were both bred as working dogs in extremely cold climates, hence their thick, double-layered coat. Although they share a close genetic relation with each other, their places of origin differ. Siberian Huskies were first bred by the Chukchi people of Siberia, while the Alaskan Malamute originated from the Malamute tribes native to Alaska. These two may look like twinnies at first sight, but when you know where to look, it becomes easier. Malamutes are generally larger and heavier dogs with a distinct curled tail, while the tails of huskies are shaped like a brush and hang more upright. Huskies also have a signature white stripe line on their foreheads, absent in the Malamutes. It is also notable that huskies can have both blue and brown eyes, while Malamutes only have brown eyes. Number 2. Collie and Shetland Sheepdog these breeds share remarkable similarities, from their appearance to their personalities and heritage. Both breeds evolved in the rough terrain of Scotland and Britain as herding dogs. They are also double-coated dogs with similar coat textures, thus their coat care is similar. They have a few key differences. Sheepdogs are more fluffy compared to collies, who probably might have just as much, but it lays flatter and straighter with generally longer muzzles. Sheepdogs are also bulkier and can weigh almost twice as much as collies. Number 3. Cairn Terrier and Norwich Terrier Cairn Terriers and Norwich Terriers are small terriers that originated from Great Britain. During the mid-1800s, there were no distinctions between these two breeds. They were just general farm dogs. They were initially bred to work on farms and hunt foxes, badgers, and rats. This pair has an exceedingly striking resemblance, especially if they happen to have the same fur color, like red or wheaten. However, one of the key differences between the two breeds is that the Norwich Terrier has shorter legs, an important feature for their rat-catching abilities. Color can also be a distinguishing feature for the breeds as well. A black and tan coat usually indicates a Norwich, while an all-black, gray, or silver coat indicates a cairn. Number 4. Boston Terrier and French Bulldog at first glance, if you spot a Boston Terrier and a French Bulldog walking side by side, determining which is which might just kick you off a bit. They are both small breeds known for their erect ears and flat faces. They share a similar origin as they were both created using the English Bulldog. They are both popular dog breeds, mascots, and celebrity favorites. You can distinguish a Boston Terrier from a French Bulldog by color and body structure. The biggest difference between the two breeds is their color. Boston Terriers have a tuxedo coat of white and either black, brindle, or seal, while Frenchies, on the other hand, come in distinct color appearances. Frenchies are also known to have blockier heads with many wrinkles, while the Boston Terrier has a square head with few to no wrinkles. Number 5. Whippet and Italian Greyhound Italian Greyhounds and Whippets look very much similar. They are both considered smaller versions of the Greyhound. At first glance, these two breeds look almost identical, but upon closer inspection, you could pick up some differentiating features. The Whippet is nearly double the weight of an Italian Greyhound. Whippet's weight ranges between 25 to 40 pounds, while the Italian Greyhounds range between 8 to 11 pounds. Standing side by side, you will also notice that the Whippet stands slightly taller than the Italian Greyhound. Italian Greyhounds may bark more than Whippets, and Whippets tend to prefer more outdoor playtime than their counterparts. Either way, they both make terrific companions to their owners. Number 6. Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd The German Shepherds are easily recognizable breeds. On the other hand, the Belgian Malinois isn't well known, so when people indeed come across one of these, they think it's just another German Shepherd. Both Belgian Malinois and German Shepherds were used as herding dogs, so they both tend to possess high energy levels and are very intelligent dog breeds. 
These traits contribute to why they are mostly utilized as police, military, and service dogs. These breeds are similar in size, fur coloring, and a lot of other physical appearance. But if you look more closely at this pair, you figure out that the Malinois is more slender, smaller, lighter, and has shorter hair in comparison to the German Shepherds. Number 7. Lhasa Apso and Shih Tzu The Lhasa Apso and Shih Tzu are one of the most difficult dog breeds to tell apart, and will take more than a trained eye to tell them apart. They both originate from East Asia and have a shared bloodline. The Shih Tzu have Chinese ancestry, while the Lhasa Apso has a Tibetan origin. The Lhasa Apso is bigger than the Shih Tzu, which is the most obvious physical difference between the two breeds. Although bigger, a Lhasa Apso normally has a smaller bone structure. Therefore, it will look slimmer than a Shih Tzu, which has a more solid body structure. Another key difference is that the Lhasa Apso has a dense and thick coat, while the Shih Tzus have a more lavish double coat with flowing tresses. Both are low shedders and are considered good choices for those with allergies. Number 8. Maltese and Colton de Tulir. Just by randomly glancing at these two breeds, an observer may think they were born from the same dog parent. Not only do they look almost exactly alike, but they also act the same way with very similar personalities and temperaments. It doesn't matter which you choose for your household as both make good pets, but knowing the similarities and differences can help you pinpoint which one you prefer. While they may give off extremely similar appearance, there are a few ways in which you can identify one from the other. The most notable difference is in their size. Maltese dogs are much smaller in size than the Coton de Tulir. While a Maltese can weigh up to 8 pounds, Coton de Tulir dogs weigh close to 15 pounds, which is almost twice as much as a Maltese. Number 9. Beagles and Harriers it's very easy to confuse these two breeds because of their coat coloring, but as with the majority of other breeds, their major difference is size. Harriers stand between 19 to 21 inches tall and weigh about 52 pounds, whereas beagles stand between 13 to 15 inches tall and weigh an average of 25 pounds. Unlike harriers, beagles have a tendency to develop separation anxiety when left alone, which can make leaving home hard for pet owners. While they are still an active breed, beagles are known for being less energetic than harriers. On number 10, Bernese Mountain Dog and Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Both the Bernese and Swiss Mountain Dogs are large working breeds with a lot in common. Both breeds are Swiss worker dogs. Swiss and Bernese Mountain Dogs are similar in appearance, with thick bones and powerful muscles. They each have a tricolor coat with a white blaze on their face and measure almost the same height. A major distinguishing feature is the Swiss having a shorter and denser outer coat with a thick undercoat. Their coat sheds minimally and requires minimal grooming for upkeep, unlike the Bernese Mountain Dog, which has a longer coat requiring more regular grooming. It is undeniable that there are several dog breeds that share similar physical features, such as coat colors, muscular frame, and size. However, despite their similarities, each breed has a distinct personality, temperament, and history that sets them apart from each other. It is crucial for dog owners and enthusiasts to get familiar and learn about these differences to ensure that they provide the best care and training for their furry friends. Ultimately, regardless of their physical similarities, each dog breed deserves to be recognized and appreciated for their unique qualities and characteristics.